Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Birds Glitter Nest .com. and today I have a beautiful little bracelet for you that was so easy to put together. The only thing I used were these inexpensive e beads, and they're their 60 e beads, and you can find these at any craft store. And eight millimeter strong gauge jump rings, and then I just hooked a little lobster claw on with jump rings. So I'll show you how to do this. Stay tuned. This would make a lovely gift for anyone. Mother's Day, birthdays, and this would even be a wonderful little thing to put into one of your pick-me-up tags that I showed you how to make. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to put everything together. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need three different colors of 6-0 e-beads and you can either buy them separately or you can buy them in a tube like this where it has the different shades for you but I have these in my stash and I really like the silver lined e-beads because they are so pretty and they have quite a shine to them and if you look up close each one is circular in shape I don't know if you can see it. And the holes are fairly large. So once again, these are 6-0 e-beads. You can find them hanging up by the tube in um, Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Any store with um, a bead section. And you can get these little heart clasps, or they're called lobster claw clasps, at, um, or on eBay or Etsy. And I believe I found this on Etsy. I think I bought this in a set of five. So I'll set this aside. That's about one inch long. <clears throat> now, you're going to need some strong gauge jump rings. And these are eight millimeter. You can either buy them on Etsy by typing in the words strong gauge jump rings, or you can purchase them or I'm sorry, or you can make your own, which is what I did today using the 18 gauge gold wire and the Speedsmith. And here's my jump ring maker. So I'm just going to open open it up and just put one of each bead onto the jump ring. My hands are kind of cold today. Actually they're very cold because of the weather and I'm having a hard time moving my fingers. <laughs> so you'll see there's three on each one. And I'm just going to set this aside like that um, with it open. And I'll just continue till I finish these. And of course, I won't finish all of these on camera. Don't want to bore you to death. <laughs> this is a nice little jewelry project for anyone who's interested in getting their feet wet in jewelry making. This is good to get the kids involved with this. I need new glasses. <laughs> and set this aside. If you can't find 8 millimeter beads for one reason or another, 9 millimeter will do. And just set that aside. I really like the combination of the gold and the blue with the silver. Just like so. And this this is a nice little Mother's Day gift. Shows that you took your time to put these together. And this is a kind of project that you can use by just 
or you could do by sitting on the sofa or listening to music, watching your favorite TV program or movie. Like so. I'm going to set that aside. So I'm going to finish these up off camera and then we'll come back and put it together and you'll see how easy and how beautiful this turns out. Okay, so we have all of our little rings together. So the first thing we're going to do is take the first ring and we're going to close it. And I do this just by moving it back and forth until I feel scraping. That way I know it's touched. The two points have touched and it really is closed. Sorry about that. All right. So this will be our first one. So now I'm just going to pick this up and slide this on. And then I'm going to close this. So, and then I'll just continue. Just hook this on. Just take your time. This isn't something that has to be rushed. And you know, if you don't want to use three, you can also use, use two of the um, beads. I just like using three because I think it just gives it a lot more um, shine. Let's see, as you go along. And just pick this up, and you can hook the jump ring anywhere. There's no particular spot that you, that you hook it, just like that. Hook it. Every once in a while a bead might fall off, just slip it back on. <laughs> like so. <laughs> just doesn't want to stay on there. Now stay. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just going to continue doing that until we get all the way to the end and then I'll show you where we're going to go from there. Okay, so as you can see, I finished hooking all of these together. And like I said before, you can use either two beads on each jump ring or three. Three is a little more, takes a little more time, um, but the results are very pretty. And so, what we're going to do next is we're just going to place one plain jump ring at the end and once again you can hook it anywhere in between these beads make sure it's closed so we have it like this and then on the other end we're going to hook our lobster claw and just place it anywhere and then make sure it's hooked so we have what looks like this and you just want to hook it the end I like these nice large clasps like that and then you have what looks like this 
and it really is pretty with the three beads. So that's as simple as that is. <laughs> so I hope you really enjoyed this video. And um, God bless each and every one of you. I appreciate you watching. I'm not too sure if I told you this beforehand, but I used 24 jump rings to put beads on to make this um, seven and a half inch bracelet. Well, when you measure it out, let's see. From clasp to the jump ring, I'll show you. It is seven and a half inches. Okay. You take care. God bless. Bye-bye.